back to market master today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin on this chart here and I wanted to talk about the daily chart uh, indicators and then we're going to flip really quickly to the weekly chart as we look at the power of numbers first of all we're going to take a look at our indicators I was talking to you earlier about how we were going to have a sizable pullback and this topping pattern that was I expected it was going to come in around the 23rd 24th we would have some sort of change in trend in a in a retest up here I was expecting something a little more but we had much more of a washout this is getting rid of everybody trying to hold on to Bitcoin they want your Bitcoin from that period I was discussing with you we would have a 15 to about a 23 percent reaction and of course uh, I was told that every time I say something I'm wrong by my haters but I have a whole bunch more lovers and that energy is being very strongly projected into the work that we do so thank you to all my positive brothers and sisters out there I want to say a big shout out to Beatrice Beatrice has been doing a lot of Reiki on me and has been sending me a lot of healing energy She's been doing a lot of major work and she's been sending me a lot of messages. So big shout out to her. Same with Choi. You know who you are, brother. You've been sending me a lot of stuff too with your Reiki and healing and love energies. I really appreciate you so much and everyone else that has been wishing me healing energies. Peace and love to you, brothers. So we are expecting that this top should come in here up to this line and we're about to see some confirmations here with our MACD. It looks like the sellers have left and the buyers are starting to step back in. We haven't quite got a full cross on our MACD. Let's just quickly look at that one. It's just looking like a small cross has started here. So we're hopeful that this is going to play out into our late November and into our early December. It could trail into about the 10th of December, but I expect by around the 10th of December, we're going to have another, well, probably going to meet a lot of resistance and uh, we'll be up near this, uh, we'll be up near this line here that's coming down. We have two data points that cross through, so I am expecting that, like I said to you guys, don't chase this market around after it gets to around this 97, if we start we start showing that uh, we're some weakness here yeah I would be tightening up those stops because right here we talked about channels right and when you come up to the underbelly of a previous campaign and you can't get above it it signals weakness just like this one did here we get right into this underbelly here right here we just could not get above that right so pay attention to that it's really important so our trajectory right now is that we're looking for a late November here and a very early December pop here with a retest. And let's go take a look at uh, another one of our leading and lagging indicators, the stochastic. Usually now this one tops out and peaks or makes a bottom first before all the other ones signaling that the pressure is moving downward or upward. So pay attention to that, all right? This is an important indicator too. Like I said, it's a leading and lagging indicator. So we have to use all of them to time the market's moves. Next, let's go take a look down at the RSI here. Again, you guys, the uh, RSI is uh, just come back out of the basement. We haven't seen this low of a recording, so I'm expecting we're about to see a retest here. If we drop the line down from here, and crossed it through these data points there's a whole bunch of energy around this area for this indicator to be up into this area and we have all these bottoms right here we have the entirety of these bottoms in this area so getting above this area is very important and it looks like we're about to get into this reactionary area so just pay attention to that all right moving back to the chart here with all our indicators showing that they've been leaving the basement now and it's possible that we're about to see this here. I say it's possible because I've been trying to time this 
Have you been noticing that I've been saying this in a few of my past videos that we about to get a retest here? And lo and behold, here we are again. Roland's right again. And it's not that I'm right again. It's just honestly, we're just watching the timing of the market. We're using all of our tools and we're not allowing the emotions of others to distract us from making the calls in the market. So here we are, we're back. We're starting to get this momentum up here and this needs to maintain. If we get, if we start to show weakness and get weak in here, guys, that's going to be a sign, right? Especially if we come up and retest this and get a little, a little spike here, right? Barely get outside of this. Yeah. Just really watch this. This is a really critical area. We're still trying to find a bottom and confirm this is a bottom. All right, so let's now go take a look at the weekly chart because I got something to show you there. Yeah, let's go have a look at that. Let's, uh, let's reduce this in size so that we can see what we're talking about here. From this low right in here, we're going to do something. Okay, so this low was a 15,800, right? Nobody can dispute that. That's what it says. So from there, we're going to take our counter and we're going to go out now 158 weeks or 157. We're going to square price with our time or so we're going to square time on our weekly chart. So there you go. So we made a low at 157,000 or 50, sorry 15,700 right over here. That's our low. And now, lo and behold, here we are. When we square out this timing point here, this is a time for a major change in trend, a major change in trend. And what did we have? We had a major change in trend here. It's like walloped everybody right in the lips. Like seriously. So let's go ahead and let's just take a look at again another another count on our chart here. From this area here. I'm just gonna try and get this to the lowest part there. Out into this April, you can see right here, 154 days. From our 15,700 or 15,500, we knock off two zeros, just like we did on our weekly count. And what do you get? We get our top period in time, in days, right? So we've got it in days, and now we've got our timing point in weeks. So I wanted to show you that. I really hope that you enjoyed that. And big shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there. Make sure you go hit up Dex to give him a big shout out as well. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, share it with your colleagues. You know what? I'm sure that they'd love to get a little bit of light, just like you are. So we're about to revisit this line right here. So let's go again look at it on our daily chart because it's uh, easier for us to see. We're about to get this retest, brothers and sisters, right in here. So watch for this, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. If we get above this and we sit in here, our next retest area is this 101 to 105. But I'd be careful to chase this into here because this could get us into a bit of a dead zone here. And if we don't uh, carry through, then, like I said, Hitting inside the underbelly and hitting these channels. There's a lot of resistance right in here. This is just a major resistance area. So keep your stops tight. Anyways, peace and love to y'all.